Besides organic yarns, another specialty in the BC Garn range is actually silk. We have different kinds of silk yarns. And this one here, I think, is the most special silk yarn I have ever seen in the industry. And I think it's the silk yarn what BC Garn became famous for. It's called Tussa Tweed. And Tussa silk is different from mulberry silk. Please look in the internet uh, what the difference is. It's about what the animals eat and so on. My English is not sufficient for explaining that in English. Um, but you will notice that Tussa silk is not as slippery, not as shiny as mulberry silk. And this Tussa tweed is a very, very special effect yarn. It has kind of a dry touch and those little tweed noopsies in here make it the most interesting yarn I've ever seen. And when you knit it up and when you wear it, it has a very, very nice, light, interesting texture. It's very hard for me to explain. I suggest you just buy a couple of skeins and try for yourself. And here you see what I mentioned earlier. This here is a mulberry silk. And as you can see, mulberry silk is very shiny, kind of heavy, a little slippery. And um, our mulberry silk is called Jaipur Silk Fino. It comes in more than 60 colors. This is only a small selection here. And uh, personally, I'm not such a fan of the pure mulberry silk. I don't like this slippery part of it, but combined with, for example, some kind of silky kit like this one here from Kremke Solwool, it makes all the garments so nice and drapey, a little bit heavy. And this coat here was made by my designer friend Yuri from, Jap from Japan. And it's actually my favorite coat because it has this softness and the hairiness, but still the weight, which I really like. This is the third of our silk yarns in Bitsegarn. It's called soft silk and it's a burette silk. And burette silk is what is left over when you unwind the cocon and when you harvest the mulberry silk thread. Uh, and the remaining cocon parts are then spun into a burette silk. And this means it has a very natural structure. It's a little bit thick and thin. And it has a very nice and wooly touch not uh, this shiny mulberry silk touch. And sometimes you can even find remains of plants in these skeins. And this is what I like about the yarn. It is a really natural. It, it comes over as a very natural yarn and it's so inexpensive. Lino, pure linen. I know that you either like it or you hate it. Knitting with linen is very special, but the result of pure linen knitted up is just fantastic. And uh, it becomes more softer. It, uh, it has great climate properties. It looks elegant. And I must say, if you don't like to knit with this very fine thread, take it double, knit loosely, and then you get these wonderful results. I really love it very much. And the price of our pure linen is extremely attractive. And so I think in your shop, you should stock a little bit of our lino. For all those who think pure linen is a bit too much, um, we have something here. It's called alino, and it's a mixture of cotton and linen. And this makes it a little bit more soft. And uh, what is very interesting in this yarn is that the two different materials absorb the dye stuff differently. And uh, so all the colors are a little bit heathered, I think you would say. Uh, yeah, as I said, it's slightly softer than pure linen, has extremely nice texture properties, is the perfect summer yarn, has nice colors, I think, and the price is extremely attractive. Luxor is our proof that cotton doesn't have to be boring or dull. Um, Luxor is a little bit shiny because it is mercerized and this mercerization process makes it more stable 
and um, it doesn't tend to become so much bigger like a lot of other plant-based yarns. What I like about this yarn is this elegant look and also the certain twist. The way the yarn is plied uh, makes it look extremely interesting in the skein as well as when knitted up. So I think uh, even though it's a pure cotton, which sounds kind of boring, it is really a very elegant summer yarn, which I think deserves a little bit more attention and, uh, but it's mm, quite new in our range, so maybe you want to give it a try.